You guys are lucky. We work, uh, I mean, you're attending, I work, at a research university. And when you're at a research university, sometimes, not always, you can get a hold of some resources that would otherwise be very difficult to obtain. So we have a very active behavioral neuroscience group in our department. And some of those folks also work at the medical school. And I'm putting this on because there are um, legal reasons why I need to do this in order to show you what I'm about to show you. Same with these. Nobody needs to bend over. I hope these are the right size, guys. Who cares about circulation? Cut off hand circulation. So yeah, I was actually able on on very temporary loan to uh, actually show you what a human brain looks like. That's so cool. Well, I think it's cool. Glad I'm not a physician. Way. <laughs> like I said, this is a research university. Are we going to play? So, so when, when these things get fixed with formalin and everything, sometimes it causes color changes. So this one's a little bit more red than that. But there you go. There is the human brain right there. You can notice, I, I know people in back, I, and I don't, I don't want to walk back there, I'm afraid I'll stumble and then I'm going to be in real big trouble if I lose this brain. So, but there are folds, there are convolutions right in there. This is a structure back here called the cerebellum. It's part of the hindbrain and that's really important. It has uh, some implications in terms of uh, autism and other things. Now this this thing is absolutely remarkable when you think about it. When everything, every single thing that you do, every movement that you make, every thought you have, the fact that you're breathing, the fact that your heart is beating, boils down to that structure right there. I mean, I don't know if you find that as amazing as I do, but I just find it incredible. Really, really incredible. I love this thing. This is my friend. This should be your friend. It's awesome. It, it's just awesome. Oh, I love it. It's delicious. It is wonderful. You want a piece? No. This is my brain. You go get your own brain. So, is anybody nauseous yet? I am. <laughs> anyway, yeah, oh, get rid of this horrible mess. No, it's not a good brain. But it took, uh, it took a lot of planning to pull that off, and you guys don't even appreciate it. <laughs> okay. Back to the alley. Yeah, I always come prepared, uh, and uh, God, breath mints, jeez, that really tastes like crap. What is it? It's, it's cherry jello, that part's good, but in order to make it so it's not translucent, I mean clear, I had to mix in um, uh, fat-free evaporated milk, and that, that tastes horrible. So, let's get back to this. There we go. So, for those in back who couldn't get a good view of that, so here is a, uh, an instant replay. Hello, uh, I'm going to eat you. Jello. It didn't work as well as cherry jello. Okay, <laughs> move it.